Hello everybody, it's your boy Sill. We're back at it again, six wins in, two losses. Uh, and we're uh, playing some versus arena with this deck. Our last game was the first win we had in a while, uh, in this recording session at least, where the win was like, pretty much one-sided. Um, though, to be fair, we, we top decked like the perfect answer and crushed our opponent. Um, had we not top decked that, it would have probably been a bit harder for us. Oh, we're going second. Shit, that's the first time this recording session that's happened. Uh, let's keep this in. It doesn't really have any actions or equipment, but I think I can make that work. Hopefully he doesn't open with anything crazy. That's good. That's, that's, that's real good. Well met, my friend. Well met, my friend. Uh, gains drain if there is an enemy creature in this lane. A two mana, four one. That's actually really cool. A friendly creature ignores guards, but not cover. Fair enough. My family has endured enough. Let's drop Galen this turn. I will keep Sota Sil's people alive. Those are now two mana four fours. Give target creature plus four plus four. I think that's definitely good. And he can overheal here with the trade. Ravenous hunger. Did you? Oh, Dad's gonna be here within the hour, eh? Awesome. Fantastic. 6 1. Oof. Oof. Big heels. Yeah. Arrows shall fly true. A powerful blow. Wait, what? Oh, he's immune to damage. Shit. Alright, that was my bad. I just want a chance to prove myself. Alright, that's not bad. We're not going to be able to get anything with the Moon Moth cast. Alright, we're going to beat this boy because he just keeps spamming in any mode. Alright, that's annoying. That's annoying. But we can, we can deal with it. I can't. Yeah. Repel the outlanders. Yo, Pass. We gotta get his health back down below 30. We're sitting on a pretty awkward I'm hand, though. Fair enough. That was a good play. so beautifully also man fuck that riding on giant overgrown ticks I'm not about it I mean oh wait what's this activate give a friendly creature negative one and summon a spider oh. I guess that works oh my god the audio for that they had to have used whales. That's so badass. Um, 
I mean, this kind of sucks. So I think we just do this. They'll move along if they don't want trouble. And pass. The problem is, is we're drawing a lot of four cost cards, so I'm not able to do any combos. That's a cool, uh, that's a cool support card. What was that? Does it just fight something he wants? Cliff Hunter, 3-3, battle an enemy creature. That's cool. Costs a lot to do for basically being a Frostbolt. Which is a two mana spell in Hearthstone. He's roping. Come on, you want to trade? Do it. Do it. Why is he slow roping me? Counselor of Dagoth. One. One. All right. If it wasn't valuable, they wouldn't lock it up. You can tell them you thought of it. I did warn them. That was probably a mistake. I should have killed the zero one actually, so he couldn't just summon another spider this turn. Oh, what did he go AFK? Did he DC? I don't know. I don't like this Phalanx exemplar. I don't think he's very useful. He's far too situational. I'm surprised this doesn't have like the auto rope feature like in Hearthstone. Where if if, an, if your opponent ropes the turn before and the rope fully goes down, um, it automatically starts them with like a 20 second rope counter or whatever, however many second rope counter on the next round. Like, hey, if you're not there, your turn's being passed. Which kind of sucks if you DC'd and are trying to reconnect to the game. That's understandable. That's actually really cool, though. Reconstruction engine. I like it. I imagine that's a Morrowind card? I'm not sure. It could be a Skyrim one. There's the boy. I just want a chance to prove myself. This find belongs to me. Fire orders, of course. I did warn them. Oh, was he back? Well, I mean, this is kind of like a shitty video. Oh, it does have a quicker rope. It just takes a full two turns. All right. So this is like a shitty way to win. Like, I'm not going to lie. I don't feel amazing that I'm just, that this is happening. But like, I'm not going to not win, right? I'm not going to surrender because my opponent disconnected. Especially where it's the arena, which I paid money for, right? This is basically like someone scooping at a magic tournament, right? And it's just like, oh, I can't win this game, I scoop. Free win for you. Which is never something I did, because I don't, I don't agree with it. They'll never get the best of us. They'll never get the best of us. 
and it is a prophecy and I wonder if the rope kicks in for this or if I'm just stuck for the rest of my turn Is this whenever he draws the prophecy or when he plays it? No, it just draws it. So I'll actually get a 1 2 guard in my hand. Maybe. If this breaks the game. No, alright, they do just rope. Alright. I was gonna say, if they hadn't thought about this, then that's a huge issue. Alright. Win number 7. All right, I mean, we'll take it. That's a shitty win. That's uh, that's uh, that's terrible. We were doing all right, and we're gaining control of the board anyways, but we have no idea what he had in his hand that might have been able to stop us. Um, but we'll take it. We, wait. What? I thought it goes to nine. What? That was the final boss. I thought they go to nine. Has risen to the rank of brawler. Now the real challenge begins. Wait, what? What does that mean? What is going on? What does brawler mean? A dramatic finish deserves to be rewarded. I don't I don't know what just happened. Well, enough gold for another arena run. Two packs. A legendary adoring fan another legendary holy shit these are way better rewards than fucking hearthstone three packs of cards 150 gold holy shit I just need to be good at this game holy fuck that's amazing what does this do? Genius Path Mage. I've looked at him before. Summon a random creature with your deck, uh, from your deck with cost equal to your current Magicka. Uh, that's kind of rough since he costs six. Um, Prophecy Guard, immune to silence. Re 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 last grabs. He uh, he comes back. That's fucking annoying as shit. I love it. Holy fuck, man! A promotion reward. So wait, how does the arena work? Fight for glory in the arena. Defeat as many possible opponents as you can before being defeated three times. Brawler eight. What does that mean? I don't I don't quite understand what that means. Like now now can I go up to eight wins and then nine and it keeps going up until you hit the max and then you win and reset? That would be interesting. Um we're gonna draft another deck right now, then go over those packs. Um, let's do a monk. I like monks. Monks are cool. Endurance and agility. Um, we'll take Mechanar's Will because I think it's a really good card and the Clockwork Apostle for the same reason. Uh, look at the top card of your deck. You may discard it. Clockwork Scorpion has a lot of good potential combos. Three mana, three, two, or three mana, one, two lethal is not very great. That's not very good either, unless you get it off as a prophecy. But it is a neutral card, which does have things that combo with it. A three mana, one, five charge. Ash Oppressor. If you have creature shackle. We'll take that, the Merc, Merc Water Guide. Deal two damage to your opponent, gain two health. Give friendly creatures in a uh, lane plus two plus zero this turn. Draw two cards. Darien Heist can't be played unless a creature in each lane damaged your opponent this turn. That's... That's way too specific to ever be useful. And we could use a four drop action. We need, we need a two drop. Like, I'm just saying. Uh, this is useful. I mean, I don't have a two drop, so I need something. All right. Wabadrak could pr help us. Gentleman Jim Stacy. 
What are you from? Your opponent chooses a card in their hand and gives it to you. Your other rallies have an ex give an extra plus one plus one. I mean, that's really cool, but I don't have any rallies yet. He's interesting, but it's arena, and the opponent could have shit in their hand. I think we take the Wabajack. Uh, we definitely take the two mana 2-3 two, first. Um, Blackmail's really good. Javelin's really good. Two mana 2-2 two, two with Drain is alright. That's good, because it lets us draw more zero-cost cards. Um, I actually really like this. Uh, let's make up a 4 mana 5-3. He's not crazy, but he's alright. We can actually combo with that now, which is good. 5 mana 5-5 five, five isn't amazing, but I would like the, I'd like the body for now. All right, we have 10 cards left. Summon two, do, 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 do. Summon plus one, plus one if you have an action in your hand. That's not bad. Give other creatures in your lane if the top deck is endurance. Not endurance, stamina, whatever this is. Uh, nah, let's pick up that. Five mana four three or a five mana three four doesn't sound all that amazing. This is a good card though. Uh, we actually could use more late game because we're kind of lacking on it, and this game can actually get to the late game pretty consistently. That's a good card, but this is really good. Uh, draw a card if it costs seven or more, reduce its cost by one. That's not that useful. We'll take this because buffs are important. Um, that's a good card. This is actually like not a bad card, but I really want this. All right, I mean, Um, betray. Summon a random creature from your deck that costs three or less to a random land. Unsummon it at the end of your turn. I imagine this gives them haste, or that's useless. Summon a 2 2 Wood Elf Scout with charge in each lane with a wounded enemy creature. That's not bad. Summon, you must discard a card at the start of your turn, draw two cards, and then she loses the ability. Oh, I like that. And she's a 3 mana 4 3. We're a little short on actions, though. Alright, alright, we're good. We're, let's go open those packs. I'm sorry for the fucking excavator. He's literally, like, less than 5 feet away from me on the other side of the window. We got three fucking packs of cards from finishing that arena. Arena rewards in this game are way better than Hearthstone. Way better. And a third legendary out of the packs. That's amazing. Unite the houses. If you have at least one card of each attribute in play, you win the game. Well, there you go. Uh, that'd be difficult. <laughs> it's not a good legendary. Uh, but it is, in fact, a legendary. Oh, we got a Sky... We got two Morrowind and a Skyrim pack. That's awesome. I don't know. Are those all three of these rare? Yeah. That's awesome. Deal one damage, gain one health, draw a card. That's a fucking cool card. Uh, I mean, the gaining one health is kind of useless, but the rest of it's very cool. That's also really cool. Revealing the Unseen, I love that. That's the kind of shit I love. That's also really cool. The Grizzly Gourmet. I love it. That's a good, that's a good Skyrim joke. Oh, only one rare this time. Good, good. Pretty good. Alright. 
Oh, that's golden though, so it's animated. That's cool. Barrel Bar Bar Zars Tinkering. Betray transformer creature into a random creature that costs one more. I like that. That's actually really good. I think we actually have the makings of like a decent blue deck started. So like let's take into account what we got from clearing the arena. We got a guaranteed 150 gold. Which, right off the bat, you got another arena run. Guaranteed. Three booster packs, one of which contained a legendary. Might not be a good legendary, but I can soul, I can crush it and get the shards. Or the soul gem. Filled. The soul essence. And then just two legendary cards. That's amazing. And I wonder how much... Let's quickly take a look at how much you actually get for soul crafting. This video is going to be a bit longer than the last few because I didn't expect this to happen. So let's go, let's look up here, just legendary. All right, let's see how much you get for breaking down a legendary. You get plus 400 and it takes 1200 to gain. So three, it's a three, it's a one for three, basically. Um, so I got enough legendaries in that one draft to craft any one legendary I wanted anyone that's insane you would need to get four legendaries in hearthstone to make that happen because of the conversion rate imagine going like yeah no i finished the arena and i got like enough money for a run and a booster pack and i got my one pack and a bunch of dust enough dust to make like two rares not even an epic this is amazing am i going to do it probably not because i actually like the adoring fan um I think the adoring fan's pretty fucking funny. Um, does a part of me wish I could so I could get rid of Unite the Houses? Yeah, kind of. Like, let's not let's not get carried away. I want to like delete all these decks, decks except Alduin's Apocalypse because that's a pre-made and that's probably decent. Um, we don't have many legendaries though. Like, we don't have any here. Oh, we do. We have the Rising Legate. A uh, 5-5 five, five Breakthrough that summons a 1-1 one, one Imperial Grunt. That's not that good. What does this say, Legendary? We have the Supreme Atromancer, the Expert Atromancer, which is still weird to me that they cost the same thing. Um, summon a 5-3. Summon a Flame Atromancer. Summon a 5-3 in each lane. Like, these are cool cards, but they're really high-costed. And the Genius Path Mage. No, man, that's really cool. Well, hey, we finished our first arena run. We did it. GG.